Lucy from Top of the Rock here with Jimmy Graham, town council candidate for District 6, Correct. which includes Plum Creek, yes. Crystal Valley Ranch, yes, where else? Lanterns, and then uh, I believe it's Glover right up to that northeast section as well. Okay. Are you crazy running for office? <laughs> <laughs> Remains to be seen. You so, seem uh, like a sane man. <laughs> Yeah, it's uh, it's quite a commitment, much more than you think when you step forward. But uh, but we believe it's worth it, and as do you. What made you decide to get into politics? What was that spark? I wish the, I wish I could say there was a spark because there there truly wasn't. I actually went in reservedly, um, looking at the situation, thinking I could do uh, you know, make a difference. This you know uh, presented itself. We looked at our district and the representation. We thought we could do better. So uh, we we investigated. We did our due diligence and we right. talked to town council and other folks and uh, before we made the decision. But we think it's the right one. Right. Do you ever? wake up in the middle of the night in a cold sweat like <laughs> what am I doing because I do <laughs> we, my wife and I it's almost become comical you know it's like what are we doing right and and for us you know without making this a, a Sunday school lesson it's a step of faith we're called to do it we're not sure where it's going right you know um, the, poli the politician thing I've asked people and I'm like I'm not a politician you know talking to the people that have lived this and they go perfect that's why you need to stand up yeah so that was a good encouragement and a good confirmation so we, we think we're in the right place you're running against an incumbent someone yes. who's been in office for the last four years, you're a relative newcomer. What would you tell people who would say, Jimmy Graham, great guy, but he just doesn't have the experience? Sure. Uh, you know, I've had people ask, what experience do you have in politics? And the answer is really none as far as the definition of politics. However, you know, being a veteran as you are, um, it's funny how you do these, these uh, you, you live this life of service and um, literally operating millions of dollars worth of equipment and making life and death decisions, really putting your life out there. And every day it's an ethical decision with real world consequences. And somehow people pretend that after your service in the military, that doesn't matter. Right. But somebody from a local business here in town can step in and somehow they're, they're better connected. Right. Uh, I disagree and quite frankly, even on a national level, I'd like to see more veterans standing up. You have an impressive resume. 15 Thank year you. Navy veteran, yes, you were a SEAL. Yes, sir. What, what was that like? Uh, you know, it's it's amazing. You miss it. You miss parts of it, as you know. You know, you get with, to work with people and to walk with people that are um, exceptional among exceptional people. You know, right. it's it's crazy. So it's it's uh, you do get spoiled a little bit within that community, and then you start a family. And you veer away from it. And you miss you miss part of it. But right. it's been. Uh, I did a lot of growing up in the Navy. I did a lot of maturing in the SEAL teams, and I, I look back on it fondly. Uh, kind of surreal at times because of all the you know the notoriety it's been getting lately. Right. But uh, it was amazing. You know the right. deal. You miss parts of it, but not all of it. Absolutely. And it doesn't compare to my family life. Yeah. Now you say family. That's a big part of who you are. Absolutely. That's a big part of who Jimmy Graham is. You're a family man. You have a strong set of values that define you as as a person and as a candidate. Can you tell me a little bit about those? You know, on our postcard, we put pro God, pro life, pro Second Amendment, and that wasn't trying to force anything down anybody's throat. I could put something more neutral and maybe get more votes from the other side. Right. That's that's right. who I am, and if they don't vote for me, I, I understand that, I respect it. Right. I think that I'm going to be a good fit in that, as, yeah. I, as I think you would be. Getting in that dynamic and talking to people and not having to agree all the time. Um, I've always been a team player, but never been the person who's afraid to speak up and say, hey, I believe this is wrong. My constituents think this is wrong, and I vote no. So I don't have a problem with any of that. I never have. And it's, yeah. you know, it's worked for me sometimes, and sometimes it's worked against me, but I can sleep at night. Yeah. I think the biggest thing I see is information and communication. When I talk to the town staff, I go, oh, now I understand why my water bill may have gone up and why it may go up again. It's a lot of money to have the renewable water. It makes sense. So yeah. when people understand that, they, they're less likely to attack it. So I, I, I think communication, it, um, and you know, basically educating people, yep. and then educating themselves via the website or, or talking, you know, open communication, and then, you know, information, and then communicating that yeah. you know, respectfully. What do you tell that person who's sitting there right now with a ballot in front of them and their pen in hand, ready to check the box? What do you tell that guy? <laughs> you know, the uh, gal. quite frankly, being new, new in the game, I'm not going to know everything about every issue. I'm learning just like you are drinking through the fire hose. Um, issues are going to come and go, and character's not. Yeah. You know, if you vote for the right person and you talk to them and spend time with them, and they truly have your best interests at heart, like I said, those issues are, we, we maybe not even remember them in a couple of years. Yeah. But you're going to still have that person who's willing to fight with you. And, yeah. and I think I'm that person. I yeah. feel like uh, you know that, that we both represent that. I don't have an agenda. I don't have. I, I don't see where I could really gain from doing this. It is going to be a huge time commitment for me and my family, but I believe it's worth it. Yeah. I hope to serve with you on town council in the future for the next yeah. four years. We'll let the people decide. So, and, uh, hope it works out that way. Best of luck. Cheers, brother. Thanks, Jimmy man. Graham. Thank you. The man, the myth, the legend. <laughs> Vote Jimmy Graham.